And we wanted to get back to the latest results of that exclusive 10 News Union Tribune poll. Again, we asked if people in L.A. would purchase season tickets if an NFL team did relocate. And you can see here only 19 percent said they were very interested. Now, when questioned how much they'd be willing to pay, 30 percent said they would only pay $500 to buy season tickets and then 2% said, said they would pay, you could see there, uh, $1,500. Now we also asked if a personal seat license was required in order to purchase a ticket. Would you do it? 63% of Los Angeles fans said they would not purchase season tickets. Now we've been analyzing this poll and now joining us this morning here in studio, uh, Kogo radio host Sully Sullivan. Yeah, Sully, a native of San Diego, yeah. he has chimed in on this topic on many of, of his various radio shows on our partner AM 600 Kogo. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me this morning. You know, we want to talk about the, uh, one of the questions here and we asked if you thought efforts to bring an NFL team to LA will succeed and we saw that 61% said yes. Give us some perspective on that. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly right. I mean, think about this, you know, LA Rams are a heritage brand. They always were. Problem is, is LA hasn't really had uh, solid football there with two teams in 20 years. Um, I can tell you this, they've got two baseball teams and they've got two hockey teams, <laughs> they've got two basketball teams. So if there's ever a city that, they, that can support a couple of football teams, and, and not the least of which is one football team, it would be Los Angeles. And I think the NFL knows that too, let's yeah. face it. It's you know the second biggest media market in the U.S. and um, uh, it would be a natural for the next city to bring an NFL team there. Now let's talk about the other question we asked, which was what's the most you would consider paying for season tickets to uh, Los Angeles NFL team games? And we saw that 30% said 500. You know, it's interesting. If you look at the polling that the NFL does, because they obviously have a marketing team that has to figure out, you know, what's going to work, what's the price point. And every city has got a tipping point on what they're willing to pay. I mean, obviously, uh, Green Bay may be different than Los Angeles and New York and yeah. San Diego. But this is right down the line. You know, if, if you look at all the polling and all of the research that the NFL's done, about 33% of the people, uh, which is in within 3% of this, say they're going to pay $500 for season tickets, all the way up to the, uh, all the way up to the, uh, uh, to the PSLs and everything else. I mean, it really is, the data is accurate here. That's what the NFL expects. So this isn't any big surprise to me. Yeah, well, it's good that the data is accurate. You know, yeah. you mentioned PSLs here. Uh, let's go ahead, first of all, explain what it is. And then our poll here said that 16% said they'd pay 5,000, but mm -hmm. then 63% said they wouldn't even purchase it at all. Yeah, that's what's interesting about this is this is the Los Angeles market. This looks like mm -hmm. this is coming out of the San Diego market because this is exactly what you're gonna get here in San Diego. Personal seat licenses are the, are the right to purchase a, a seat. You don't get the ticket, it's just for you to get in line to buy the ticket. So, and this is how stadiums have been built in San Francisco, in Detroit, in New York. And, and uh, it's actually kind of a, a unique model here. Now, San Diego did the PSL when they first did the club level here in San Diego. Remember, we, we, we refurbished the stadium, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we had a club level. Yeah. There was a personal seat license you had to pay of about $500 a seat. PSLs are nothing new, they're used to pay for stadiums. The problem is we tried to do it at Petco Park and it wouldn't work. So as you relate this L.A. poll to San Diego, uh, this doesn't surprise me either. People don't like the idea of doing PSLs, but if you want NFL football in your city, you're going to have to get used to it if you want season tickets. Now, the other question we asked is if the NFL team did re relocate to, uh, to L.A., how many games would people actually attend each year? And so we see there that 32 percent said none, 30 percent one to two games. So are we just not as diehard as sports fans as we think we are? I think that we have too many distractions here. I mean, let's face it. If you go, I, mean, I was true. born and raised in this town. I remember the San Diego Rockets basketball team. I remember the San Diego Gulls when it was, when it was an actual professional hockey, not, not, uh, not IHL hockey. Um, we've always had a hard time here, other than during the bandwagon years when we have great mm -hmm. uh, Padre seasons, great Charger seasons. We've always had a hard time filling the stadium. Let's face That's it. That's true. It's because we have the best weather in the country. I mean, what are we known for? We're not known for football. We're not known for baseball. We're not. We're, we're, the beach. I mean, we're known. We're, we're, no, we're known for the beach. We're known for the yeah. weather. Uh, which I have to say, and, and, and as long as I have the opportunity, this is the reason why you want a San Diego Chargers football team in San Diego. Uh, it's not so much about a Charger stadium, but keep in mind, what is the number two market driver in this city? It's tourism. Yeah. Number one's military. Yeah. Number two is tourism. What do we get when Johnny Lunchbucket sitting in Minnesota is watching a two and a half hour commercial in November when he's sitting in negative 16 weather <laughs> and it's perfect out here? It's a commercial for San Diego and we get that several times a year. I think that's so important. Yeah.